Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and uh, wow, uh, Professor Bill of Comic Book University. Yeah, anyway, I'm a little tired. This is, uh, this is one of those episodes, man. Like, there is so much in this episode. You got to see the actual fight that uh, Colleen Wayne, and, and I did the reaction video to that fight. It was an awesome fight. It actually went on a little bit longer than what we thought. Um, you know wasn't that much more exciting except that it did show that she's got Colleen Wing has an incredible mean streak in this you know like just wipe the blood off on her and I love the costume that's her costume and uh oof, just wipe the blood off and just kept on hitting you know um interesting to see that uh Danny Rand got into some uh, similar fights for money on his way back from uh Kunlun, <laughs> from the Himalayas um, also, uh, I forgot to mention before that, you know, the door to Kung Lun is supposed to be open every decade, not every decade and a half, but I'm okay with that. They just want him to be five years older, to have studied five years longer, whatever. Um, man, seeing him, uh, I like the idea that they said, uh, you know, don't swing your 51% majority shareholder dick around <laughs> like that. And yeah, good point. <laughs> um, he could have easily said, you know, look at the PR that'll do and, you know, um, we didn't spend, you know, depending on how much they spent, will they at least get that money back in taxes by claiming a loss, you know, in charitable donation, all that stuff. I mean, like, they will definitely make their money back on that. Like, there's absolutely no doubt about that for that drug. But, um, yeah, the idea of showing themselves to be so charitable is a huge deal. Sometimes you just need PR. Like, that's the whole reason why that department exists, and that is the best PR. So... Cool with that, and um, yeah, the the hallway scene we got to see the hallway scene. I told you, I told you it was coming up, and sure enough, there we go. Um, yeah, it wasn't like the best hallway scene, they had a little Captain America Civil War type elevator scene in there, they just added some hatchets. Yeah, <laughs> it was cool. Uh, it was funny seeing the triads, you know, like, oh, we're gonna kick your butt, you know, that with the hand. Oh, we out. Ah, <laughs> uh, dying, I'm dying, but um. Yeah, the, the thing at the end with Harold Meacham playing, you know, daddy, <laughs> like that, and just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill you now, and just put the sword, you know, through his skull like that, very cool, very, you know, just like, boom. So he's got the taste for killing now, the penchant for killing, he seems okay with it, and he's going to prove to be interesting. But the most interesting part that I absolutely expected had to happen, if this is going to be an Iron Fist story, is that we get to see that symbol for the uh, steel serpent again, that little dragon uh, symbol. It looks exactly like the tattoo on Danny Rand's chest, but without the wings. That is the symbol of Davos, the steel serpent. And oh, uh, just real quick, I was got to uh, have the little comment on here of uh, the August personage of, of Jade, which that made me happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, Davos, the steel serpent. Um, they got to point out that it's an actual person on here. I just, I don't want it to just be some heroin or some other street drug or something like that. Like they showed in Daredevil season one. Um, it's actually got to lead to Davos. Has to. And he is this guy who was able to steal the power of the Iron Fist. And he's a phony. You know what I'm saying? He got the, uh... The, symbol, the, the way that the, the, the Iron Fist, that Danny Rand actually got the thing on his chest was he had to fight Shao Lo, the Undying. Um, this is actually a dragon, and um, there used to be all sorts of dragons in Kunlun, and they used to have the, the Dragon Festival. And then uh, this one particular dragon that Shao Lao went crazy and attacked, like flipped the rider off him and went crazy and tried to attack uh, the heads of state. And this one guy, and I can't remember his name right now, you can look it up, it's easy as pie. Um, he lunges forward and he kills the dragon. Dragons are a sacred animal, even though they went crazy, there had to have been a better way. So they exiled that guy. <clears throat> and, uh, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the, uh, Tu, uh, tu, tu Lao, I think it was, or Lao Tu. I can't remember which one it was, I think it was Tu Lao. Anyway, he actually went up to the corpse of the dragon and ripped out its heart yeah this guy actually ripped out its heart that's the way he killed him but took the molten heart or took the heart and melted it made it into molten uh like lava and then uh reformed it put it in uh like a big urn a big pot and now the dragon will be undying it will always come back 
So every couple of years it comes back and uh, the Iron Fist, who you want you the final test, you want to prove yourself to be the Iron Fist, you have to go and you have to fight this dragon. And you can't kill this dragon. The only way to kill a dragon is to rip out its heart. So how do they kill a dragon? Well, the, um, the, there's still a fire inside of the dragon. So the way that you beat it is to run up close to it, you know, sneak up on it, run up close to it, and hug it. And, and block off um, the, 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 the dragon-shaped um, what do you call it? hole that's in its chest and the fire in there is burning you so that's why he has the uh, it's not a tattoo it's actually a branding he was branded with that dragon and the wings and all that stuff and it cut off the oxygen and snuffed out the fire so you have to hold on to it just long enough that the fire completely goes out and then bang you're golden you know, the, the dragon dies, it will eventually come back to life again, and then boom, you're good. You know what I'm saying? You can go in and, and dip your hands into the molten heart, still molten, of Sholau, and that's how, you know, you become the Iron Fist. Um, Davos tried to do the same thing because he learned the secret by cheating. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're never supposed to know how to defeat Sholau. You have to figure it out on your own or die trying. And he figured, you know, he, he learned the, the, the secret through deception. And he went up and he tried to do it, but he wasn't strong enough. So uh, he has the tattoo on his chest, but not of the wings. He doesn't have the wings, just the, the serpent's body itself. So, bang, like, incredible story, right? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Iron Fist is booyah, the man. So, yeah, I... Uh, you get to see the the little thing at the end. I'm I'm down with the sickness, baby. Let's just see it. <laughs> All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. I'm gonna go watch up the next episode. Peace.